Hi guys, welcome back to another 1.14 Skyblock episode. Today I want to work on the witch farms a little bit, so we get a steady supply of redstone and glowstone dust. Here we are in our quad widget perimeter, or area, I mean the whole world is a perimeter really. And yeah, we got two witch farms already, we got the starter witch farm, uh, which was the pathfinding based one, and somebody else built this one over here. I haven't seen that one before, I was actually surprised today by it, let's say, let's check it out. And for this one, I'm gonna go into spectator mode to check it out. But now I also found that Cycro built up this witch farm here, and the idea was to have a very simple witch farm for now that we can upgrade later. Right, so the first thing we notice, yeah, he also expanded the roof five blocks to the side, but only in one chunk, of course, to get the extra spawning attempts. This change in 1.14, uh, you would only get extra spawning attempts uh, fr coming from the same chunk, because spawn attempts would cross the chunk border or immediately abort it. Right, let's take a look inside. It's really simple. Um, we got redstone dust line here in the middle and mobs spawning on those trapdoors there. And if that happens, they would just open. The witches would fall through. So it's as simple as it gets. Of course, it has the disadvantage that uh, witches can't spawn on top of the redstone dust lines. So that really cuts into the efficiency, but for now it, it's good to run the farm with 66% efficiency. Alright, then yeah, the bottom actually also saves on hoppers because we still don't have a ton of iron. Uh, they are killed by fall damage and then the items are flushed. Since everything runs on a clock, yeah, we, you can time it easily uh, to not have a witch landing in the water, of course, and surviving the fall. Alright, then the drops, of course, at the moment brought to the middle, where we don't have much of a sorting system yet. I think they all just go in a dead chest for now. Well, but it's still nice. So this is a nice automatic redstone supply for now. We'll upgrade that one later. Right, time for another creative world session. I actually joined the world here with the new Trapdoor Observer based witch farm. Released a video about that a while ago. Um, going for this would be actually the easiest solution, or you got a fully working design. But I also mentioned in the video that I want to make a detection based system again. So instead of running everything on a clock, uh, I have some tripwire going across the spawning spaces. So here at foot height, I guess. And then activate those as soon as the witch spawns. This is now interesting again, since in 1.14 I think it changed, uh, mobs would block other mobs from spawning. Uh, which wasn't the case in the previous version, so yeah, we got a witch spawning there in the previous version, another witch who could have spawned in the same space, and therefore it wasn't really as interesting to clear the witches as quick as possible. But that's the case again, and yeah, that's why we're gonna go for that detection system. So here's the basic design again for the observer trapdoor farm. Get witches spawning now on trapdoors at 1.14, which of course is important, previously was spawn proof. So we push the observer and the trapdoors over block. The trapdoors here at the top would align the witches so they don't get moved with the floor. And the witch they would stand now on top of a trapdoor, fall through because it's quickly opened. Then we push everything back and now the other witch also falls through. So what we essentially want is as soon as a witch spawns the floor should shift back and forth once. But we should also consider that if multiple witches spawn in the same lane uh, the tripwire will only get triggered once. So we also need to add a clock component to it. So there's an option that the shifting floor goes back and forth multiple times. And I remember actually in Cycroft episode 92, I was working already on such a system for general mob form for 1.12, which unfortunately because of various bugs didn't work out in the end. Wasn't successful, but I think the same system I came up with back then together with methods and I think Oreo back then should also work for Witch Farm now. So as you can see here, Witch spawns, floor goes back and forth. Little problem is that the trap does now get uh, triggered that often. And sometimes also the sh uh, shifting floor goes back and forth twice. But this still might be better than a clock based design. Because it has the advantage that uh, yeah, the witches are cleared really quick. And also that only the uh, yeah, lanes get shifted where actually witches are spawned on. Uh, one thing we could probably improve is put another block in front of those observers so the piston arm doesn't trigger that observer in the first place. Putting the extra blocks in between definitely helped. The trapdoors aren't triggered quite as often anymore. The problem is with their 
triggering the trapdoors multiple times is that while it's open, of course, no witch could spawn on top of it. But yeah, it seems good. In this case, if they would spawn the observer, the floor also only gets shifted back and forth once. It's already looking quite decent. So I built it up even further. I had to replace the normal block here in front of the piston uh, with a block without any collision box. So which they would spawn here in this observer would then fall through. And yeah, also added the other two layers on top of it just to see if it's working. As you can see, which falls through again and once more. Takes a bit on the lowest layer. All right. Uh, I think I actually haven't mentioned yet uh, how the clock actually works. So on both sides we extend observers to create an observer, fast pulsing clock, and then we have repeaters uh, in front of uh, this observer, which takes the output from, from the bottom one, and we power uh, repeaters on two ticks here and repeaters on three ticks here. So this is basically the whole idea how the clock system works. Uh, first this piston, pushes over, then this one, and because those repeaters or those clocks are on a different cycle, uh, we can alternate between pushing right and left. So I also put a primitive roof on top of everything just to check if the farm is working. But it doesn't look good. As you can see here in the back, those witches probably stand in the middle of two blocks. And what's going on? Yeah. Okay, so the okay, both sides are not on the same cycle, and then it should never fall through. Right <laughs> in the beginning, I already feared that that might be an issue. We can probably solve this by replacing those stairs here with full blocks, so then also the neighboring layers will get pushed. Uh, so it should even itself out by doing this. But of course, the big disadvantage is instead of pushing seven blocks and pushing twenty-one. Uh, where mobs can't spawn on, so this might cut into rates quite a bit. But we'll have to do it because otherwise that is just causing too many issues. I've been testing for a few minutes and so far the shifting floors always cleared the witches, but now it seems like there's another problem. Okay. So those sides also no, not synchronized. Yeah, that's actually a big issue. <laughs> I mean, with half of that floor shifts all the time and we can never clear it, this is not good at all. Of course, eventually the bottom floor would get cleared again when a witch despawns, or maybe another witch falls down from the top and, and nudges it over. Um, but yeah, the question is, how often does this happen? So I've only seen it happening once now in a couple minutes. Um, we should maybe already start testing the rates of this farm, if it's even getting close to the rates of a clock-based design or not. For the full test, I put a proper roof on top of the witch farm and also added a drop chute and a killing floor out of hoppers. And we ran into a new issue. Um, that's something I also didn't think about. If the observer is pushed at the wrong moment, the observer clock here uh, would basically have the wrong frequency. Instead of giving out a pulse every 4 ticks, it would give out a pulse every 6 ticks. And that basically breaks the whole shifting floor, because then one of the sides uh, won't fire at all anymore, and nothing goes back and forth. Of course, this would also resolve itself after a while, but yeah. meanwhile, new witches could spawn that floor. I think this is not really a proper solution. I think the, at some point, once this happens often enough, then the witch farm would basically break at some point. Right, I guess we have to start from scratch again. But right now I'm not feeling like starting over again. I really want to finish that ghast base ghast here farm in survival. And in order to do so we need a bit more packed ice for the spawning platform. So let's head over to the ice platform, harvest a bit, and I think I'm gonna make a time lapse about that.
got all of the specced ice, but it turns out I don't even need it. Somebody already finished the spawning platform. But here's really the fun of the early late game. I'm missing another resource. So at the bottom, we still need to put in the rails for the gas to go back and forth. And we, at the moment we don't have any gold form and we don't have nearly enough gold to make enough powered rails here. So we're lacking something else. We need a farm for that. We now we need a gold farm. But I really don't feel like <laughs> starting on that. Maybe let's also search for something else we can do right now. And I kind of forgot that we already have some kind of a gold farm, which is not actually that bad. Especially if you have a looting sword. Cycral landed me his. So I'm just gonna kill those baby pigmen here. And to get us the looting sword, we're gonna get a ton of nuggets. Yeah, here everything is rushing towards me. So after this gold farming session, I finally had enough to craft all the powered rails we need to finish the ghast farm. So I got together with some other server members and we really tackled the rest of the construction. I recorded a little bit and here are the highlights of our building session. Morning there. Oh, that is, oh, that's just temporary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any idea maybe to also get, get the magma creams? Not really, right? No, but they build it too low for that. No. We have to make sad. another farm. Oh, yeah, great, so there's pretty nothing, much here. nothing here. Nice. Not even cobble. Well, I guess we can go back and do some crafting. Well, we have cobble. Yeah, but we need repeaters, pistons. Pistons and repeaters iron, and redstone. redstone. Yeah, but I don't have cobble. If you need iron, I think there's a I half a shulker box of. So I guess at a the bunch farm. of slabs and uh, slabs and cobble walls and rails, so we can. Hmm. Couple of hoppers, I guess, but uh, we just can just bring let's, logs. Let's do a crafting session. Yeah. Put the iron I got the pistons. Spectator. I got the redstone. I got slime blocks. I got repeaters. I guess I'm bringing a bunch of cobble slabs. Can also craft it on side, I guess. Yeah, true. Just gonna bring a box of cobblestone for. General 15 usage. TPS. I basically need to recreate the piston setup we have on this side and the other side. Just mirror it over. It's gonna be so much fun recreating. I'm not sure why they used furnaces there. What's the point? Oh, it's just a non uh, sticking non block. Non movable block. block. Mm -hmm. It's actually bad what I'm doing here. I should immediately spawn proof this. There's a repeater on top. If you actually have the gold, should I do the powered rails only? Uh, I mean, they're not gonna go to waste, right? Oh. Still can recover them and then. First death. Hmm. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Hopefully, you didn't lose materials. There's... No, no yeah. one cares about the armor and the diamonds and stuff. Just don't lose yeah. the pistons. Yeah. Hate building and so on. Like trade. Looks good to me. Surprisingly. Um. So I'm guessing just put in junctions with levers. Yep. I don't have any cobblestone. Do you have some? I've had some. There's plenty uh, there's at the, at the, the uh, shulker, storage here. A, uh, black shulker box. Oh, we're missing. A I'm not missing. Okay, the redstone is built on the other side. Both still has to get connected though and attached to the potential future clock, but and bulk is done. Again. Oh yeah. Well, what's happening? That was me. Sorry. I want the nether. Okay. Still, why are we... Okay, now it's catching up. I have yet 18 yeah. TPS though. Fuck. Huh. Makes no sense at all. Oh, that wasn't too um, bad actually. We should also seal this area off. Or more. So the gas that are in there don't start shooting or whatever. That's maybe something Pluty can do. I don't think they can actually see us at all anyway. Uh, sorry, what? I'm Is in there a head level in the, in the ice here? No. That's I'm in the overall, suffocate there. They're all lacking. Right uh, above it with the head level, I think. Yeah, we should 
seal this area completely that off. That should be sealed so, off, yeah. So instead of just rows of slabs, all slabs on top, proper roof. Yeah. Right, the rays a little bit, but Are there because... any proper... Uh, um, hang on, we should also probably fix up the clock and everything before we bring in the gas, right? Yeah, of course, everything is we finished, then we bring in the gas, yeah. We should be kind of ready once the clock and everything is connected. I think. Um, who placed this redstone dust here and on the crafting table? Down. I did to make it spawn proof. Yeah, but we're gonna put a lever there, right? For the. Because there's a railing. I'm going so. to put. Uh, I'm putting the stone in. Uh, just the making sure. Just making sure I'm doing this right. I accidentally broke a piece of ice, so I have to fix it. Why are you placing a floor down? No, no, no. There's no floor on one side. Is it unnecessary? Yeah, where, where the pigment is supposed to go? <laughs> That's where the <Yeah>. pigment go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. This farm so complicated, I don't get it. <laughs> I've never seen this farm. Just go to... I'm also too lazy to go to the test server, look at it. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, where even is it on test I can I couldn't find it. Everyone is like, man, go help me, I'm too lazy to go to the test server, uh, what should I be doing? I love it and I do the same. We can get into. At this point, we unfortunately ran into some major issues with the farm. We were using this tripwire system to detect gas that are pushed to the side and then start the conveyor belt system. But in survival, they made the spawning platform too wide, so the tripwire line was over 45 blocks long. And the maximum length, of course, is 40, so we had to either uh, cut off a slice of the farm on one end to make it shorter, or redesign it a little bit. Bro, stop jumping. This is not a valid path. Including nice the eyes. pathfinding was improved. Including the eyes. Yeah, the whole farm needs to be made smaller. Don't start with the eyes, reminding wait, 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 our wait. floor. Could we maybe yeah. do it differently? Okay. Why do we even have a trip by hook? Usually we just hook it up to a detector rail line. Clock. Yeah. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. No. Let's put the back. We're just gonna change the rest on a little bit. Okay. Just oh no, I think if you like clock that, it... Like that gas here at the bottom, it's gonna activate a detector rail line, which activates this system. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, let's do that. Okay, <coughs> fill in the wall again. Uh, put it all back. <laughs> Sorry. Drop me an ice block, please. Drop me an uh, ice block, Mango. Thanks. I'm up here. The aspect. Oh, this is Wutex. Sorry. Okay, got it. It's that stuff here. It looks like a staircase. That... Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> well, we need to place stairs here still as well. <clears throat> Just hope that one gas where we take the output from to detect the rail won't be. Slower than the others because there is a detector rail now. I don't think it should actually matter with all the rest being gold. We could Just also be... replace it with normal rails everywhere else. That yeah. Work. Let's yeah, do true. That as a fail That's a good thing. idea. Do one detector rail and then put yep. normal rails. It should actually be exactly the same. That's <gasps> oh. Slide we were so out. lucky, methods. I just <laughs> broke the block below you, below you. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's gonna get pushed. No, yeah, that's not matter. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Quick. I guess actual Shooter? testing and the uh, timings can be adjusted oh, afterwards. Wait. At this point, the farm was supposed to work. All there was left to do was the most nerve-wracking part: putting in the gas. How that turned out, you can see at the beginning of the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, see you in the next one, bye bye!